Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're trying something a little bit different. We're doing a 360 video. So I'm gonna teach you all about the interior of a car in this video. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, our first scene. Uh, if you look over here, this is what is called a seatbelt, a, a belt or strap securing a person to prevent injury. Perfect. And down here, come find me, is the buckle used to clasp or fasten the seatbelt. Perfect. And back up over here on the seatbelt uh, is called the tongue, the piece that fits into the buckle to secure the seatbelt. And if you follow me over here, look over here, come find me. Uh, this is what is called a glove box, a compartment used for storage. Perfect. Well, let's move on to the next scene. All right, we're here at the next scene. Can you find me? I'm up here. This is what's called a sun visor, or for short, you can just call it a visor. It helps to shade the eyes of drivers and passengers from the glare of the sunlight. And over here is the console, uh, a control bearing surface in the center of the front of the vehicle interior. Perfect. And I didn't go very far, down here is called the armrest, a feature which allows occupants to rest their arms, which is pretty self-explanatory. And I'm not going very far, just look up, this is what is called the steering wheel, a wheel that a driver rotates in order to steer the vehicle. And right here, next to the steering wheel, is the automatic transmission shift, or you can just call it the shift. Uh, a type of motor vehicle transmission that automatically changes the gear ratio as the vehicle moves. And if you just look down a little bit, you'll see the cup holder, a device for holding plastic cups or other drinking containers. Typically, it's attached to the console. Where am I now? Look up. Over here, this is what is called the rear view mirror, a small angled mirror fixed inside the windshield of a motor vehicle enabling the driver to see the vehicle or road behind them. Okay, let's move on to the next scene. Let's look in the back. In the back of the vehicle, we see what is called a handle, uh, otherwise known as the oh god handle or holy beep handle. Typically, people grab this handle. They'll grab this handle uh, when they're going around, say, a sharp turn or someone is scaring them by driving too fast, but that's not what it's used for. Uh, it's to make it easier to get in and out of the car. So most people use these ones incorrectly. And right next to the handle is a vent. It provides a constant through flow of fresh air, heated or cooled if necessary. And you don't have to look very far. Over here is called a dome light, an interior cabin light with a dome shaped cover attached to the ceiling of the car. Okay, so we've learned a little bit about the interior of a car. Now these were still 360 photos, so they were not moving. It was not a video. Uh, but this next part I'm going to show you is a video. And this is what is called a stow and go seat. So let's watch the video. Okay, so perfect, we saw what a stow and go seat is. So to stow something means to put it away. So oftentimes you'll hear people on the airplanes say, stow your luggage. In this case, we stowed the seat. It folded up and went into the floor. Perfect. So that was only part one of the interior of the vehicle. There's so much more to go over. So we'll have to make a part two video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Hey. My hand's floating. Cool. Wait, so is my head. <laughs>